What's up guys, welcome to Bro Beats. Today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to use Scalar and how to make beats that you wanna make with it. If you guys haven't subbed already or turned post noise on, make sure you do so because it does help the channel out a lot. Let's hop right into it. So the first step is setting it up. All right, so you can see here I have Scalar and I have my VSTs on the side. All right, so first thing you wanna do is go to VST wrapper settings, click this box here. And what you wanna do now, just so you can remember this, the output, all right, you want to output the sounds from Scalar into a VST, all right? So that's how I kind of remember. So I want to output my sound from Scalar into a VST, all right? So that's how I, so most people get it mixed up. They'll do this. Oh, this is the input. This is where I'm pressing the MIDI, right? And then you want it to come out into the VST, right? But it's the opposite. So I just kind of, use that to remind myself. So I wanna output this into a VST. So I put this to one or zero. I usually just do one. All right, and then when you pull up your VST, okay, pull this over. You put this here to one, so they match. Then after that, you could go ahead and let's go back and play. And then I usually turn this off, the pianos and stuff off. All right, so that is how you set it up. All right, so now we're in Scalar. So now I'm gonna be showing you the basic things and then I'm gonna show you the things that you need in order to make the beats that you think you wanna make. So you probably seen like a trailer or like a, a YouTube video and you probably like, man, I can't wait to get this plug in. I'm about to make these beats, that beat. I'm gonna show you how to get to that point. All right, with some settings, but first you need to know how to ac actually access the basic ones. So basically you got detect, you could detect it, you know, whatever. Then we got scales. Now this is what, it has all the scales that you need in here. You can go to, through the categories, notes, you can search it if you want. All right, but the best thing about this is the songs and artists. So you can go here and you can pick any style that you want. So if you want like synth wave style or something, you could pick that. And obviously your sound selection needs to match it. Okay, mine doesn't and more, it's more of like a rap. Um, but then we have the artist, okay? And these are just people that provided chords and everything. Um, I actually have some in here. So if you guys wanna check them out, you can. Now these, most of these aren't the exact ones that I provided, like they're not the originals. Um, they, they're simplified. So I am gonna have a free download link in the description for people that don't have Scalar yet. Um, so you can ac actually access these chords. Um, so you can go download that in the comment section or uh, description. But uh, yeah, you have these. So I'm gonna show y'all how to actually play these because when I first got Scalar, I didn't really understand like why is there six chords here? But basically, if there's six chords in total, you cut it in half. So you see one, two, three, four, five, six, you cut it in half and that's your first loop. Now you're like, how, how is this my first loop? The third one you play twice so like this and that's your first loop and then these you go on and then you do the same thing for your second loop so it would be four bars each all right now i'm gonna try to find one with four and it's pretty self-explanatory so we got one with four so it's easy each of these will just be one bar so if you cut it in half boom these four would be, you would play it as one loop. So you'll just, so just so you can visualize it. So this would be your first loop. This part would be your second loop. All right, it's please pretty, pretty self-explanatory, but let me delete these. And I think that's pretty much it. All you need to know for the basic stuff and you can save stuff. Are you see already got stuff saved up here? All right, so now I'm gonna get into the um, more advanced stuff now. Okay, so now this is the more advanced stuff and it's not too much to go over, it's just kind of settings. So here you can transpose real quick. Okay, you can just click that and transpose and you can do the octave. Um, but the part you wanna pay attention to is the perform part. Now you have humanize, this just will humanize like the velocity and timing. I usually leave this on velocity and then you have different uh, voice groupings and key lock. Now key lock is just basically like, it'll lock the keys so that you won't play outside of the, uh, the scale and then you can do chords and the chord extension. So it'll only play like the chords that are playing. All right, so I usually turn that off because I usually just click them in. So if we go to perform, 
and I did load in a new VST because the original I had was an ARP. So I just want a clean sound. If you play it, and let me actually choose a different. Let me see. Okay. All right. So we got a new one. You can also change the, the tempo of it. You can get real creative with this. So with these express, you got expressions and you got ARPs. This is self-explanatory. Y'all should know how to do ARPs, right? Okay, you got strumming. I usually put mine on slower, or you can put on random, down, up, random, whatever. Simple as that. Go back to expressions. So now I have performances. Now performances will be pretty much 100% accurate every time. Now phrases are the best ones, but sometimes they do not um, sound good. They kind of go outside the scale and I'll show you what I mean. Right? Um, why? I don't know. I think it's maybe just the scale that I'm using. Maybe we just need to use like a regular minor. Um, and you can also change it from like the scale to the chord. Again, you gotta be careful with phrases. Okay, and then you have rhythms, okay? Okay, and then performances and go like, there it is. And then you can do voice groupings. I used to keep it on dynamic, um, but sometimes for guitars, I put it on grouping C1 to B2, um, but you can kind of experiment with these and I'll just show you how it changes it. All right, so if you just want to change the uh, voice of it, you can. This is going to be it for like the advanced stuff. Now I'm going to show you how to actually record this. All right, so now I'm going to show you how to record. Now I'm going to use a live example for this. Um, I just opened up a new scalar and plug in something that I will actually use. And we're going to use the harmonic minor because it's pretty popular like scale. So I'm going to pick, go to perform and just pick something and we can try like some of these. Let's try some from here. Um, try this one. All right, so it's way too fast. Let's do a grouping, and like I said, I usually do this one for guitars, especially with this one. Let's see. All right, sounds good. So now, what we're gonna do? Click MIDI capture down here, and anything you click, it will record. Now, sometimes it doesn't record exactly, um, just sometimes, but most of the time, it's pretty. It works pretty well, so. Um, let's just click and play um, as you and you want to play it as you like hear it. All right. Don't just come like be a robot and click it on play it like on a grid. Play it how you want to hear it. So. OK, so now you click uh, cl uh, not clear. You click what was it? I forget what it said, but you click stop and then you drag over like that. Boom. And then now you just have to put it on the grid. I'm not going to spend too much time doing this because I just want to save a little bit of time. And you can take this bottom part right here, put your bass in. Way too low. Okay, and then you got your bass in there, all right? So real quick, I'm gonna show you one thing, one other thing about the recording. Um, let me see, where this is at. So with this, you can actually record different phrases together. So I can do this, so you can go to MIDI capture, so I can click this, and then you can come up here. All right, and it will record everything that you click on, all right? So that's why I really like this plugin, you see? Now all you have to do is just drag it over and then of course you have to time it and everything, but. And that's actually a really nice preset for guitars. What is that called? All right, I'm gonna keep that a note. But yeah, that's how we record them and that's like some little stuff you can do to kind of get unique with them. Cause you know, a lot of people are gonna use this 
plug in and you don't want to have the same exact like melodies as everybody else. All right, so that's recording. And now let's move on to the next one. All right, so that's pretty much how you utilize Scalar 2. Now I'm gonna just make a beat um, just for the outro and I might just fast forward through the jumps to save time, but I'll just do the melody in real time. So we can just start with what we had in the original one. So I'll just do the MIDI capture. Let's play it. Stop it there, drag it in, fix it up. All right, so now let's go to this one, clear it, and then we can actually pull this one down to 0.5 and then use this as like our chords kind of, so. Drag it in there. It actually quantized pretty well, so just copy it over. Then let's put an 808 in there. Just do something simple. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just do these drums real quick. Um, I'll probably fast forward it from here, so. All right, so here's the full beat, just the outro. All right, that's gonna be it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed, hope you learned something. Make sure you guys like and subscribe if you are new. And I'll see you guys in the next one, peace.